Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about the Wi-Fi issues for your iPhone with iOS 16. There are many users who have upgraded their iPhone with iOS 16 and right after that they are saying their Wi-Fi has started doing some unusual acts. Some people say, well their Wi-Fi is just keep authenticating and keep showing them authenticator errors. Some people say their Wi-Fi is keep losing connectivity and some people say their Wi-Fi is keep disconnecting and also some say their Wi-Fi Wi-Fi spread is getting so poor. And if you have any problem with your Wi-Fi right after upgrading with iOS 16, don't worry. Let me move on and show you some quick ways that you all can follow right now to solve your problem. So let's get started. Now to solve the problem, the very first one that I'm going to talk about is your device and your router itself. Sometimes if your device and router has a little problem, this problem can happen. So on your iPhone first, all you want to do is just go ahead and press that volume up button and down button and quickly press and hold your power button and keep it holding unless it shows you the Apple logo on your device. Well, right after restarting your device, let's go ahead and check whether your problem is solved or not. So if this is still your problem is there, the next thing that you gotta do, you gotta restart your Wi-Fi router at the same time. Because sometimes your router can make this problem. Now, once you restart your router, your problem should get solved. However, though, if you still have a problem with your iPhone, there's the next things we're gonna talk about is the lockdown mode. Well, this is the new features that come up with the iOS 16. If you enable this feature, Features, then there are a lot of things can happen with your Wi-Fi. So if you're gonna turn this off, first all you want to do is you want to open up your settings on your iPhone, scroll down and choose privacy and security. Once you open this option from here, scroll down to the bottom, and here you'll see this option called lockdown mode. If you enable or activated these features already, just tap on turn up lockdown mode, tap on turn off and restart. Now once your device gets restarted, just go ahead and check whether your problem is solved or not. So if you found out still your iPhone is acting up on the Wi-Fi here, the next things we're going to talk about is the VPN. In many cases, when you're using a VPN on your phone, that problem can happen. So we highly recommend you just go ahead and turn off your VPN and reconnect you to the Wi-Fi and see what happened. Now if you still have the same problem here, the next things we're going to talk about is just open up your settings here tap on Wi-Fi and choose the Wi-Fi that you're having problem with. Now, let's say your Wi-Fi is connected, but it has no internet, or maybe it has a slow internet. So in that case, you wanna tap on this eye icon here. First, forget this network. And right after that, just go ahead and reconnect your Wi-Fi again. Well, once you've reconnected with your Wi-Fi network here, now you gotta just change the DNS setting from your Wi-Fi. Now, to change your DNS settings, you wanna just tap on this eye icon right here. And scroll it down and now just tap on that configure DNS. Well, it's already set it to automatic, choose it manual, and now remove the first DNS server from there and add a Google public DNS so that you can have the better speed with your internet connection. So you can tap on that server here. Now just go ahead and type 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. Now just go ahead and tap on add server and now this time around you gotta just enter 8.8.4.4. Now tap on save. Well once you just change your DNS server here, just go ahead and check your problem. Well, still, if you got a problem here, well, that could mean you have a problem with the minor box or glitches with your device itself. All you want to do here, just open up your settings on your device there, scroll down and tap on general, scroll down again, tap on transfer reset iPhone here, tap on reset and choose reset all settings. Now enter your passcode. Now go ahead and tap on reset all settings. Now tap on reset all settings again, and your device is going to restart once again to solve your problem. Well, after that, once your device is going to be turned back on, just go ahead and reconnect your device and see what happens. Now, still, if you have a problem with your Wi-Fi network connection on your iPhone with iOS 16, lastly, all you guys want to do is you want to talk to your internet provider. Because sometimes this problem can happen from their server room. Then just talk to them and explain the problem. Hopefully, they'll solve the problem for yourself. All right, guys, so these are the ways that you guys can follow right now to solve your Wi-Fi is not working on your iPhone with iOS 16. Hope you found this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.